Kyla. Andre? Like, that's all I've got. I told you to get more from home. I, I can't. My mum's ill. Oh. Mummy's ill. Poor mummy. Oi! Leave my brother alone, Lizzie. Don't. Stay out of it. This is none of your business. I said, leave him alone. And I said, get lost. Come on, Lizzie. No, stay. This has gone on long enough. You can't just control the school. Someone's got to do something about it. Yeah, but not me. If we stick together, he can't hurt all of us. No. But I can hurt some of you. It's got to be fast. I said, leave him alone. Bully! Don't ever touch my brother ever again. Do you understand me? And voila, breakfast is served. Ah, oh, all right. Well, I thought pancakes were your favourite. I like the ones we had in America, in the hospital canteen. So did I, love. Hey, there's, there's something behind your ear. It's a doctor's note, <laughs> letting us off of school. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, nice try. But you do need to get an education. So why are you sending us back to Hazelbrook? All right, Lizzie. OK, enough of that attitude. You're lucky they're taking you back. All I did was stand up to a bully. I know. And you know I tried to get you moved. I phoned every school around here and they all said the same thing. They couldn't believe you wanted to leave Hazelbrook. <laughs> You're joking, right? Serious. Apparently this new head teacher's really turned the place around. Now, come on. Let's go. Oh, where are you going? I'm going to have a word with your teachers. No, you can't just leave Mum here on her own. Don't be silly. I'm feeling much better after my treatment in Florida. Well, how can you? You don't even know what's wrong with you. Yeah, you said the tests didn't find anything. Maybe I'm just getting better on my own. Go on. Off you go. Hey, right, come on, guys. We're going to be late. Dad, you don't have to do this. Hey, I'm your dad. I'm here for you. Always. Blake's gonna kill us. Yep. I've told you before. Any vacancies will be advertised on the school website. Please, go home. And lose my place in the queue. Who's that? I don't know. She must be new. Excuse me. Um, if you're here to see the head teacher. You can't just walk in and see the head. My Charlotte's been on the waiting list for months. Sophie! Uh, no. I've got an appointment. We have um, an appointment too. We... Uh, I'm sorry. What do I... We have an appointment. This, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Sophie. Lizzie. Oh, I've missed you. I missed you too. You could have messaged a bit more. Sorry. I was busy. With what? How was your mum? She's OK. Why are you in the wrong uniform? Oh, nobody told us it changed. You should have been informed. A disorderly appearance indicates a disorderly mind. Yeah, whatever. Either way, we can't afford new uniforms. The headmaster will help you. Oh, yeah, the new guy. What's he like? Inspirational. He's really turned the school around. Is that why everything's so different? Yes. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the new Hazelbrook, Hazelbrook Academy, Academy, where every student is a star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw the sign. Why is he warning? Oh, 
Welcome back. I'm here to take you to the headmaster. You? Yes, I'm one of the student council's public reception officers, informally known as the welcomers. <laughs> this is a wind-up, right? Come this way, please. Good morning, Mrs. Marin. This is Lizzie Warren. Lizzie, this is our new deputy head, Mrs. Marin. Nice to meet you, Lizzie. Look at this. Every household gets a customised Hazelbrook tablet. OK. And we need to sort your uniforms out. Let's take a tour, shall we? Blake, take Lizzie's coat and bag. May I, Lizzie? Thank you. As you can see, we have a brand new football kit and a brand new attitude. Who's, who's that lad over there? Get the friend of God! our soccer superstar, Ethan Prendergast. Yeah, it's good. He reminds me of a young man, really. Get the foot! Goal it! Oh, get the foot! Shoot! Whoa! What a goal! Oh. They're very, uh, they're very disciplined, aren't they? Discipline is the key to success in school and in sport. Shall we go in? Now, academics. This is Jacob, our Shakespeare superstar. He can recite any sonnet you care to choose. Simply name your favourite. Just give me a number between 1 and 154, sir. Um, uh, 58. Ah, yes. 58. That God forbid that made me first your slave, I should, in thought, control your times of pleasure, or at your hand the count of hours to crave, being your vassal, bound to stay your leisure. That's good. That's good. That's, that's Shakespeare. That's... The presence of cobalt salt alters the compound at a molecular level. The catalyst itself remains unchanged. Bravo. I thought you hated science. I thought so too. But now, thanks to Hazelbrook, I can be me. Wow. So, what's the new head like? He's inspirational. He's really turned the school around. Come on, you two, just give him a chance. Yes, Dad. Yeah. Right, I need to go check on your mum. I'll see you after school. Love you. Did you just win that? Yeah, for football, again. Oh, so cool. You're the Warrens, right? You've been away in America. Yeah, why? The headmaster will see you now. What's he like? Inspirational. He's really turned the school around. <clears throat> Lizzie and Tyler Warren. At last. Yeah, we were... I know. You were in America. And prior to that, you were excluded for fighting. That wasn't my fault. It was that bully Blake. Ah, yes. Blake Vinny. Blake is a trigger. A what? Doesn't matter. Forget the events of the past. Now is your chance to make a fresh start. With our help and guidance, this door is never locked. OK, sir. Headmaster. 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 I look forward to working with you both. 
Look into my eyes. What are you doing? This is our school. We should all take pride in it. So, what did you think of the headmaster? Inspirational. He's really turned the school around. We better go. £3.50 for a hot chocolate. Who can afford that? Lizzie, can you lend me some money? I want a hot chocolate with ginger and whipped cream. You hate ginger. Hot chocolate with ginger and whipped cream, please, darling. OK, Mum. Is that the deputy head's daughter? Yes, and she's making a massive profit off the school. Because she's the business studies star. What even is that? It's her special study project. It's just like my robot. What? Oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, I'm building a robot. You? You've never even plugged in a laptop. Hazel Brook Academy has made me discover my true skills and my real ambition. Come on, let's go to Chip Fam. No, 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 no. But I want hot chocolate with ginger and whipped cream. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, Lizzie, come on, please. You don't even like ginger. Yeah, Why would you I want to take it off? It's no, you fine. can't. You sprinkles. Just, you can't just, take off sprinkles. It's ginger. Then. Carrot and cabbage smoothie, please. Sudden, yeah. I like it now. No, you don't. Yeah. You suddenly all of a sudden yeah. like ginger. Yes. So you all of a sudden change your mind. Wrong, please. guys. She won't buy me a hot chocolate with ginger and whipped cream. Why? Don't you have enough money? Don't talk to us about money. You creep. <laughs> I was going to buy you a drink. No, you weren't. Why would you do that? To make you welcome. Everyone's welcome at Hazelbrook. And I'm a welcomer. Uh, that'll be four pounds, please. I'm not paying for it. I didn't even get my smoothie. That wasn't my fault. She grabbed it. She should pay for it. No, no, no. Hang on. We haven't got the money. We can't pay for this. That's the money. We can't pay for it. No, no, no. Hang on. Disorder is the enemy of achievement, and mobile phones are for approved school use only. What happened? It was an unprovoked attack by Lizzie Warren, headmaster. So? Hmm. It seems we have another anger management challenge. But what do challenges give us? Opportunities. Exactly. I shall inform your parents of the situation, and you will clean up this mess. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. And then why'd you say it? I don't know. Disorder is the enemy of achievement. No, you'll do it all wrong. He makes. He makes. Well, I didn't mean to. I was just protecting Tyler from Blake. What did Blake do this time? Nothing. No, but I thought... Lizzie, he... you can't keep doing this. We need to prove that this family is Hazelbrook material. Why? The whole school's gone weird and creepy. And the headmaster, he's... What about him? He's an inspirational educator and he's really turned the school around. Exactly. Now, come on, guys, we're going to make this work. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yes! What? I've just been accepted into the Superstar Supporters. 
The what? We are a dedicated group of family and friends of Hazelbrook School, helping to make every student a star. He's been on that thing all day. I'm going to have to start rationing your screen time. Mm. So you're going to show me that magic trick? Maybe tomorrow. Right now I have to watch this documentary about artificial intelligence. That doesn't sound like your sort of thing. It is now. It's not fair. I worked so hard to make it nice. Whoever did this, they're going to pay. I'm going to get them. Yeah. You ruined my beautiful school. Look, you can drop the act now. No one's going to snitch on you. What do you mean? Who else would do something like this except you? Attention class. Vandalism is criminal. It is destructive and it will not be tolerated at Hazelbrook Academy. Will it? No, no Headmaster. Thanks to Blake Vinnie, who maintains our CCTV cameras, we've been able to identify the culprit. He framed me somehow. How could I? She's right there on the screen. Well, it wasn't me, OK? We can all see it's you. Expel her. Lizzie out. 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 We will not exclude Lizzie Warren. Come on, she deserves it. Instead, we will help her. We will prove that at Hazelbrook Academy, we can transform even the most troubled student, because here, every student is a star. Every student is a star. I'm not troubled, OK? That video is a fake. Who let Blake be in charge of CCTV? Don't you remember what he's like? He picks on little kids. He sets off the fire alarm every maths lesson. He burned down the canteen and blamed the dinner ladies, but we all knew it was him. Mrs. Marin. Come with me. This is ridiculous. Doesn't anyone remember? I know this looks bad, but I promise I'm innocent. It's Blake. He's framed me somehow. Lying will only make things worse, Lizzie. The evidence is all on camera. If it were up to me, you would be permanently excluded. You know what? Me too. Because this place is messed up. So go on, chuck me out, please. And I'm sure that would make your parents very happy. I didn't, I didn't mean... Okay, I'm sorry. Please, my mum, she's not well. The headmaster is very aware of that, which is why he is giving you a chance to redeem yourself. You will sit in isolation and write 5,000 words on why Hazelbrook Academy will make me the best I can be. My office. Now.
Why did you have to do this? I didn't. Look, that video is a fake. It can't be. You can only access the CCTV from the headmaster's office. Where the door's never locked. No, you can't do that. If you get excluded again, Mum and Dad will take me out too, and I'll never get to build my robot. I'm not going to get excluded, OK? That video is a fake, OK? And I'm going to prove it. Lizzie, please don't break any more rules. As bad as him. Maybe I am. Do you remember how I used to set off the fire alarm? No. Lizzie, Lizzie, no. You can't do this, please. I beg you, you can't do this. We must determine the origins of this unscheduled event. Yes, Headmaster. Running around, setting off every fire alarm in the building. I thought we dealt with this problem. Every individual reacts differently. Unfortunately, relapses can occur. What made you do it, Blake? Alarms. I set off alarms. I take your money. I trash the school. Me, Blake. No, you don't. Look into my eyes. Blake, you were always polite and respectful. You keep the school neat and tidy. You crave order and hate mess. Hate mess. Now you will return to your classes and continue to be a decent member of society. Decent member of society. Goodbye, Blake. Goodbye, Headmaster. And that goes for you too, Lizzie Warren. You knew I was here? I brought you here for a purpose. What do you mean you brought me here? I know you, Lizzie Warren, better than you know yourself. And given your history, you're the perfect subject. I'm not your subject. We are all his subjects. You're controlling her too. Just like Blake. Well, you're not hypnotizing me. <laughs> you already have. That's why I vandalised the school, because you got inside my head and you made me. Why? To prove the efficiency of my method, I can reform the most disruptive pupil. Yeah, by brainwashing them. It's over. 
I'm telling everyone what you're doing here. My parents, the police. You're going to get sacked for this. You're going to do time. You're finished. Such energy. Such determination. Such a clever girl. She could be very useful. You're not using me. Get out my school. Yes. I should go. Now my secret has been discovered. But before I leave, would you grant me one small favor and look into my eyes?